how to smoke a brisket. So this is the third video in the series of a beginner brisket series. And this is the one where we show you how we actually smoke the brisket. So right now we're gonna get the minion method set up on the Kamado. This is the Weber Summit Kamado. And we're just starting the fire on one little spot. We're using mesquite lump charcoal as well as mesquite wood chunks. We're going for maximum flavor here. We want to smoke at about 200. And here's our brisket that's been dry brined. Check out the previous video to see the dry brining process. And also the trimming process was just before. This is simply salt, pepper, and garlic. When the smoke starts to run clean, we are going to put our brisket on and we're just gonna let that go for four hours at 200 before we even take a look at it. All right, and there we have it, getting some beautiful color. And right about now is the time when I would put on the foil bolt. And in the foil bolt, the brisket goes fat side down. You want that fat to just keep rendering. And then we want the top to have the bark still building. This is the process for me that gives me the best combination between bark and tenderness. All right, we'll put it back on the smoker and let it continue to go until it's probe tender, nothing more. Now two or so times during the cook, I would usually use a basting spoon and just scoop some of that rendered fat over the top of the brisket. And that will help your bark to be a little bit moist. It's This is not impacting the internal of the brisket. You still want to cook that to a decent tenderness. All right, don't dry it out. But spooning that tallow over the top and just make sure you don't have too much of a crunchy bark. I like to rest in a cooler because I'm doing a longer rest today. I'm wrapping it in butcher paper and putting a couple towels down to just make sure I don't get too much mess. Just make a little present and you put that away. Now, this rested for four and a half hours. Now we're gonna carve into it. Now this is how I carve my brisket. This was for a customer. And what we're doing, we're separating the flat and the point. You can just cut right through that deckel there. And then you will reveal. So I cut off the edges on the point to make the burn ends. And any edges that are kind of charred on the flat will be burn ends as well. You can see great tenderness, beautiful smoke ring, really delicious brisket. If you have a Weber Summit Kamado, go ahead and try a brisket on that or any Kamado. Now, make sure you're subscribing to the page. Check out the rest of our videos. Check out the next video, the previous videos in the series. Hey, subscribe to us for more. Bye.